been incredible, especially the uh, the teams have taken down here to make it all the way to the first semi-finals. They have pulled off some massive upsets, but if they're going to take this, they have to pull off the biggest upset we can potentially ever see. They're going up against the Giants that are Enigma Galaxy. Of course, the first map is going to be Dust2, the pick coming in from MIBR. Enigma Galaxy opting to start on a CT side. By the looks of it, TMIBR just spreading out, not really going to go for a very aggressive push straight away. Just holding, hoping that perhaps Enigma Galaxy is going to be looking for some information at some point now. Long doors are at least now in the hands of MRBR, but there's still two players waiting in car. Also, 23 sitting anti flash position as well, just in case. And I'll, oh, it's not the flashbang that's going to be thrown, just the double smokes, but by the looks of it, this is going to be a fake. It is easily indeed a fake as the Gush will come on in, but that, that's worked out for them. The B bomb side has been given up, and now they have no more smokes. They were hoping there was no one waiting towards the double doors, and Kat's just duking it up with Josie. But Josie, great stuff from her, finding Kat, and now the bomb getting planted suddenly. 4v3 bomb down as Tori's trying to catch one of the T's off guard, and kills are looking towards top of mid as well. This retake is looking very, very rough indeed. Vilga, however, possesses a couple of flashbangs, but they are losing members, and it's all on the captain, and that is a beautiful round coming out from MIBR. Nigma Galaxy fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Oh, that was so well played. I mean, the two smokes initially towards uh, that A side, sure, uh, you could still see there was a little bit of hesitation, but as soon as that first kill landed in favor of MIBR, then Nick McGillancy was like, oh crap, we need to get back to A, because otherwise that defense is going to fall. And they sort of just left uh, Cat all alone, still trying to hold on to the B side. It wasn't going to happen. And with four. Players surviving, MIBR is looking solid going into this round. Yeah, I love the fact that they had that game plan and it worked out wonderfully for them. And this is going to be a bit of, a, of an eco bash. An ace with just a one click, a clip of the MAC 10. So that's money for days going the way of Little Z. Wow. Yeah, and you know what that means? $7,000 and early off by definitely <laughs> on the cards. Uh, and Little Z is the offer. Who knows when that gun is going to come out for now, by the looks of it. Just going to be going for a nice little bonus round. And the money on Nick Galaxy, ooh, they have the AWP in the hands of Arna. Could be a great use, a bit of a miss shot there, but some information at least. And at the same time, the rest of the team, we do see one M4A4, an MP9, and twice a FAMAS. But perhaps a little bit of lacking utility, because there's only two players with some smokes and flashes in hand. So if MBR eventually decide to go for this, it could have the advantage. They're not going to be respecting the smoke as the push comes on out, and this could be a slaughter. Anna with the AWP, able to find two, and Tori just going to fall. So it's down to Anna to pretty much do everything by her lonesome, as the B defender is not able to get much done here. Molotov a little too deep, and that's going to allow Anna an opportunity to take a shot. But Nate sails on in, that's so much of damage being tanked by Anna, but she is buying time for her teammates as the rotation is taking place from the tunnels. That's going to get tricky for Ana to retake with that open hand. And it's also perhaps going to be a very costly one if Nigma Galaxy don't hold on to this. It's now Ana falling there as well in CT. And with that, 23 just makes the call to go safe because the money is looking dire. That AWP is also lost. And that's now going to be in the hands of MRBR2. So Little Z doesn't even have to use a 7K. Yeah, that is just a disastrous round for Nigma Galaxy there, right? Like. You needed more from the defenders on that B bomb side, and they weren't able to find a single kill. It was Anna actually with the AWP catching two of the players, two easy shots, not able to find more. But I do love the commitment coming out there from MIBR. They knew there was a smoke in play, but still brute forcing their way out of the bomb site. Uh, sorry, out into the bomb site. And a solid start indeed. We have an early tag time on getting called as well for Nigma Galaxy. As you realize that uh, even though the entirety of the desk, alongside I'm quite sure even Twitch chat said Nigma Galaxy should be taking this, it's looking like MIBR are not going to make it easy. Yeah, this is very 
fun to see that Emma Bjorn now has a great start and applying that pressure onto Nygma Galaxy. It's going to be cool to see how much they can do against these European Titans. It was a map pick as well coming in from MIBR, right? And one of the, one of the, uh, like, if they're able to pull this one off, and if they're able to maybe even take it to map number three, it has to come down to dust too. Because Vertigo, it should be going the way of Enigma. There's Little Z. Top in hand. And they're just gifting her kills. Now, this is just the eco, just pistols. <laughs> okay. Little Z, maybe getting a little too over eager. And suddenly, things are starting to look a little awkward. That is very, very awkward indeed. And it is a one versus one right now. The bomb dropped at her feet. As Tori, only 13 HP, but if Hera's gonna be making a way up from the A bomb site, it's a 1v1. It's a 1v1 where Tori has the slight little advantage with that AK-47 in play as well. So right now it's a matter of timing. Can Hera catch Tori? Because Tori has to be paranoid that there could be a play coming out from long doors as well, but what was a great start here for MIBR. Down to 1v1, now the flash is a giveaway. Tori knows exactly where Hera's gonna be coming in from. She's gonna spot the head, and it's gonna be an instant headshot. That was a round MIBR had no business losing. I don't even know what went wrong there. And it started off with the 3k on the AWP of Little C2. You know, it, it's three kills in your favor, and then the they just thought, okay, you know what? We're just gonna get aggressive, go on, but <laughs> keep in mind, Tori, if you give her a pistol and eventually the AK in hand, she is going to be so deadly. That is just so insane. Like, the three great kills from Little Z, in which she actually gets the third kill through her own teammate, and then Tori with a 40, oh. with a P to 50. I haven't seen a P to 50 do that much damage in, in years, girl. <laughs> so, rolling back the years with a P to 50, Tori gifting Nygma their first round, and with the AWP salvage as well, that's got to be given to Anna, who has had highlight moments after highlight moments. And of course, everyone's going to be expecting more from her, but this time around, they have lost Hera early on. It is going to be meant to be split, and Kat needs to be careful. Smoke's going to make things a little bit more uncomfortable, but Vilga pushing in through the edge of the smoke, finds Arkinia. The trade will take place, but the jig is up. They know exactly where MI Bear is going to be coming in. Yeah, and suddenly all that money that MRBR had, you know, Little Z was at 10k at this point, and now with the reinvestment coming through, it's looking a, more, a bit more rough. Gonna have to back off now, change a bit of their plan. And actually, if MRBR still are able to win this round, they could punish Nick Galaxy's money is also low, but 23 down on top mid. She is so patient, waits here, heard the footsteps come, wrap around, and has two kills now for herself. That leaves Josie with just 12 HP. Grabs one kill, but it's not gonna cut it. Nygma Galaxy with a second round now on the board. And though it was still quite a costly one, I think some drops can um, come in for the other players there. And, and this time around, you know, Arna with the AWP and had everyone chiming in with their own kills. And it's just the patience, knowing that, okay, we haven't seen MIBR at all on this map. Send 23 uh, out to explore a little bit, and the timing, it worked out perfectly for them. Yeah, they were Galaxy just having a good read. They knew the pressure was on to its mid to be. And with a player down already early on there from MIBR, they knew they had to allocate all the resources to try and attempt to go for that mid to B play and that, that B split and a good timing there from 23. Still suffered a few casualties. Could have been a little bit more cleaner, but I think Nimba Galaxy are going to be pretty happy with the way it played out. Two rounds now back to back for the, for the favorites of this entire tournament. And we will now be seeing what should be pretty much uh, an eco here for MIBR. A few upgraded pistols, a smoke and a flash. Uh, Hera has purchased a little bit of Armor as well behind that deagle. And this Nathan Vilga could sail on in and do quite a bit of damage. Kinza and Josie down to sub 50 HP. And all five members are going to be barreling out from mid. The flash is actually really good. But they're still paranoid. There could be a play coming in from tunnels. This could actually get a little tricky. But they come funneling on out. And it's down to Tori to hold the line. Three kills for her and only one remains. 
and that is the danger getting swept aside. You can see the CT is respecting that smoke so much for so very long. And it was actually down to, down to uh, Tori to hold the ground there because a teammate, I think it was Kat, who died very early on. So that could have gotten a little dicey. If she falls there, they get yeah. the bomb down to pick up a rifle. And you know how hard a B-bomb site can be to retake. Oh, yeah, 100%. And, and in the beginning, it looked a little scary, but then it's still Tori holding her ground with the M4 in hand. Three kills. And currently, I think kills-wise, she's already on eight in uh, just six rounds played. Good start for her. Same though goes for Lil Z. And she has that all back in hand, but that's already... Tori, look at this. She's going to push deep down on mid again. That's the ball. Uh, and this, suddenly, it's it's falling apart. Where are we are? Yeah, this is looking rough. And you can see the simultaneous aggression coming out as well from long doors. Tori knows. They know exactly where the T's are. I, I don't know if 23 got spotted there. I think she might have been seen. Because uh, is she expecting this? I'm not too sure. She comes out towards long doors. Oh, she doesn't know. She has no idea where the player is tucked on in. She's going to clear the angle still, but 23. And for A1 in hand, finding Kinza. And they have them trapped. They know exactly where the final two MIBR members are. Josie, though, at least able to find Vilga. They're walking through the crossfire. A bit of a whiff shot coming up from Anna. Something you rarely get to see. But Anna and Tori with the P250s to finish off the job. And that's going to be four in a row here for the side of Nigma Galaxy. We do have uh, my VR a bit of a slowdown here. But I love this, you know, they, they know it's going to be the buy coming out from the side of MIBR and the aggression from Tori, single-handed just pushing on, going for the wide swing and taking down Little Z, even in, in fact finding the double kill along with the C4. The round was just gone the moment that took place. So MIBR, great start, but now Nigma Galaxy seem to be in full control. Pistols in hand now though. Ooh, they're gonna go chiming in through that Molotov. It's not gonna stop them, but at least the M4 of Vilga will. Josie grabs one on 23, but so far the advantages remain in favor of Nigma Galaxy. All right, the one digs do come through, and Josie actually has an M4 in hand, so perhaps it can make it a little bit more costly. But when it looks a bit, ooh, well, it's still a two on two. Problem is though, MIBR is pretty heavily tagged up. Bomb was dropped there earlier too, so they're very much aware that CDs could be close. But we have, in fact, Anna with the op on car and Vilga in CT. The longer it takes, though, here's the thing: MIBR have a lot of time to work with. So the longer they take, Anna has to start becoming paranoid that they could be coming, making their way up from the long position. You can see Vilga now starting to be a little bit more aggressive. And we can see Anna, the flashback has <laughs> quite land. And it's going to be a collateral to finally shut it down, MIBR. Still able to deal quite a lot of damage, but we can start to see Anna starting to wake up. It's been a Tory show all this while. And if Anna wakes up like this, that's when things can get very, very dicey indeed for the MIBR side. <laughs> yeah, everyone just uh, solid kills across the board. And this is the thing, I mean, we, we have seen some cool kills come through for Tori. Um, but everyone seems to be doing their part. And good info places there as well, you know, we've been having that mid play a couple of times before. And now with the conditioning, you can see they are a little bit aware. They're very much paying attention to the top mid position. But now we actually have Tori pushed up right against the ramp. She's very eager to take a look. And they're wary. They're wary. They're, they're, they're aware that Tori might just be going for the same trick again. But this is a bit more of a delay. And the timing is big. Tori's playing this one so perfectly. But she's not careful. There is someone waiting all the way towards T-Smart. She sees the smoke. She sees the smoke landing. She can calculate the trajectory. She knows where Josie is. Tori is playing a brilliant round. It's just absolutely outbraining her opposition. And she's going to find the first. But the trigger discipline comes on in. The moment she takes on Josie, oh, the timing, the timing was atrocious, and Tori will be taken down. Oh, she could have found them all, their viewers, but still, it's so much information being gained, even though the tra trade does take place, and now they have to contend with Anna's up towards mid. Oh, this is unfortunate. The, the brain 
was certainly there. Just oh. a bit of a panic moment and, and a very uncanny miss shot from Anna. The time, though. Yeah, 26 seconds, Molotovs, and oh, <laughs> utility raining from Vilga. And now she can just hold her ground there in short. Free kills here for her. Little Z left with the AWP, $50 in the bank. You have no option but to save. Man, Tori is playing out of her mind. That was just very unfortunate. She got caught out in the open there, but she could, like, the, the way she was maneuvering herself around that mid position, MIBR had no idea. She could have left that player alone because she was looking the, uh, the other way. She could have walked mm. into long doors and taken all three or maybe all four members down. Just unfortunate timing, but my word, what a round coming in here. And even when she gets taken down, the way they were able to manipulate the rotations, you saw the nade being sailed mm. in by Vilga as well. Simultaneous incendiaries tossed in towards the mid doors and towards short. They are manipulating these rotations for MIBR. Yeah. And this is the thing. It honestly doesn't matter which map Nickman Galaxy seems to play, but they're always so good with conditioning their opponents because, I mean, I wouldn't expect them to do it now again, but they're going to have eyes on that same position. And, you know, that is at least maybe a player, perhaps two, that need to be busy with the mid area because they have lacked that control. And that suddenly can become a problem if you're MRBR. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a drought of rounds for them, right? After the initial three, they make Galaxy in full control. They're going to try to luck towards B again. It's all five members grouping up, but there are going to be three members lying in wait. Anna, Tori, the op from Little Z at least finally finds a victim. But it's still a 3v2, and you can see the flank taking place as well from, the, from uh, 23, sneaking on in from the tunnel's position. Still Tori finding yet again another kill. Little Z just with an AWP. It's going to get real tough to try an entry. But perhaps if she isn't being spotted, I think she actually spots a shoulder. Oh, but a miss shot. And Tori can catch yet again another one. The kills start to flood for her. And sadly, not so much for MIBR. I love how in that one, it, it, with that op duel against Little Z, I think it's Tori, right? Yeah, Tori, she's just going for the jiggle peek, and the moment she knows she's been spotted, she just goes for the wide swing. Just wide swings out, throws off the aim, the cross replacement from Little Z. Bit of damage being dealt, though, considering it was just a, a light investment around a saved rifle. And again, Tori, she has been just a nuisance, and I do not comprehend how she's been allowed to get away with this time and time and time again. Vilga gets the first kill onto Little Z. That's towards Long. And they just going to walk into Anna's AWP. Again, Tori shows her hand. <laughs> and there's Anna waiting. Tori, however, loses the duel. That's so crucial for Arkenia to get that kill. Yeah, and now with Anna also missing a shot there on short. And maybe I'll hold on to this mid area for now. Bomb was also still dropped, so they're going to have to pick that up. At least right on time. Still a lot left for them to work with. And now this time, Vilga is going to show her head deep on mid. Pushing the long doors as now there's no presence. There's a player there. And oh, Vilga 100% saw that Molotov fly. So that's now the call being made. You can see that Anna is rotating away from that A-bomb site into CT, just making sure no one's going to cross back from lower tunnel. But now the cat has found the first. Anna switches back on the orb right there holding that tunnel exit. And so far, no one is allowed to cross. Yoshi does find one. But again, the defense is solid and they read MIBR like a book. MIBR have not smoked up double doors even once. You know where Anna's playing. You know she likes playing towards mid, and she has always been there as a third defender whenever they go for the B bomb site. They've never smoked it off. I mean, it's your map pick. You yeah. should know that smoke, and I'm sure they do. It's just that they're not utilizing it. So every time you go for this contact play out towards B, even the flashes are good or whatnot, there's still going to be three CTs looking your direction. So my PR, they've really, really slowed things down. And if you're just going to be relying on going for individual duels and relying on individuals, sorry to say, the Enigma Galaxy ladies, they, they, 
pound for pound, are just stronger individuals yeah. in the server. So we, we need something to come out here from Brazilian Brazilians. This is looking very, very rough. What a flick from Anna. 2 HP for Arkinia. Through the door. Arkinia's <laughs> very lucky to be alive. But at least that's a present known. And Anna even has switched up her AWP quite a lot and is able to rotate over very quickly. Like, every single time that MABL decides to take B, she's already there. So... It's definitely a force to be reckoned with. And now, oof, there's a good nade, chipping away a bit of damage. And now Anna holding her ground, Vilga helping. And that's already three kills for her. Because that is the last player remaining. Just a single deagle. There's not a lot you can do against five of them. She's aware of her back. But soon they're going to be swarming her. They want to hunt her down. And, ooh, all right. Cheeky kill onto Anna. But this shouldn't be anymore. All right, here we go. Tori finds the last. <laughs> you can see the smiles. It's okay. It's okay. We can lose some. <laughs> yeah, the bill have just accrued so much money now that they should be feeling pretty comfortable here. But um, I won't lie. I'm, I'm a bit deflated mm. with some of these T rounds coming up from MIBR. I really expected more, especially after taking it down some very big names yesterday. My expectations have really been raised for this particular team, but hopefully, as we enter the final few rounds of this half, they might switch things around. Because three rounds in a T-side, I don't think it's ever going to be enough against Enigma Galaxy as they head on to the second half. So they are setting up for this uh, a faster play this time around, Realist. It's going to be a uh, A split coming on in. Long control, not fully taken yet, though. They still have to contend with 23, who's inside of the pit like a little goblin. 23 is tucked in, of course. Knows what's gonna happen. Oh, it's a good idea to peek off that flash, but Kisap was quick. And Yosi now with a follow up. So suddenly this A defense is crumbling. And this time around, Ana is in uh, deeper in CT. It's already on the way to check out mid. Oh, but there's a gap. Oh, sadly, Ana misses a shot. That was the opportunity for Nigma to try and take this uh, round back. But still, there's chances because there's not a lot of utility left, at least no smokes for MRBR, but there's potential. They could, for example, Molotov the bomb eventually, and now the flashes start to rain. Nigma wants to hold on to this side catch, swings once, finds a kill, but the defense here, MRBR, great after plan. That's much better for MRBR, but even then you can see some sloppy smokes there, right? The big gap over there, crossing mm. on over to get the bomb. Yeah. Anna could... And look, that was actually... I was surprised Anna missed that shot. But she, she finds that. Suddenly, the bomb plan gets delayed. It's yeah. already there. Now he's starting to feel uncomfortable. But much better from the side of MIBR. They're a uh, faster play. Not taking too long. Not really going for the standard defaults. But look at Vilga now. Oh, she's switching into tunnels. They haven't done this yet. Have Nick Galaxy. And it's going to catch up by surprise. You can see, Josie's not expecting this. They've never gone to this play, and she's going to even switch to, I believe, a nade, and Vilga's going to get the opening kill inside of Tunnels, and that is Tunnels control with Nick Galaxy right now, and eventually they're going to be rotating back towards A. This Molotov should be the tell as well. 23, just going to be trying to delay these T's for as long as possible, but now you can see Vilga slowly peeling back. They still have kept the two defenders towards B, but now Vilga falling back towards the CD spawn. This take is not going to be easy at all. Already a player down. They do, however, have two, three smokes and quite a bit of uh, utility as well to work with here. So still, real possibility for MIBR to make the way into the bomb side. But little Z, she has to be instrumental. Her op, she's had her moments, but most of them haven't really been round defined. So you see here's those smokes popping. She's going to be applying some utility herself. It's a good nade. Don't miss the timing just by an inch. She's going to try to dance around this smoke now. The flash will pop. It will blind her. So, in fact, her plan is out of the window. She needs to play off the box. It's not going to happen. Nakina finds that first very crucial opening frag. And even now, Vilga tries to hold on. But if they're going to peek one by one, MBR is now in the advantage here in this round. Yeah, if they don't find a kill in the next few seconds, I'm expecting a potential save to take place. Actually, no, no. They, they're actually going to go for this. They have so much of money to work with. So, Nigma Galaxy here to come on the retake. 
tag actually coming in onto Arkinia as Anna finally finds a kill. Kiza as well to fall to Cat, but it's a 2v2. And there is the AWP all the way inside of the pit, which should be un losable here for MIBR. Time ticking away as well. Anna desperately looking to get the kill. Flickshot doesn't land and she will be hunted down as well. Might even go down with a bomb too. And indeed they will. Little Z will survive with the AWP. Round number five. A much needed couple of rounds here for the Brazilians. And if they can get to six, I, I feel like they can breathe a little bit more easier. Mm, yeah. It's actually still very close. But yeah, MBR sometimes they have some sloppy mistakes. This time around, actually, it, I definitely didn't like how they were trying to retake that initially. Yes, they've lost a player earlier on trying to hold on to B. But Vilga, perhaps she was feeling confident, but just pushing that smoke dry is... It, it's just handing yourself into the hands of your enemy. And, and what uh, did surprise me a little bit was the fact that you have Vilga pushing in lower tunnels, you had two plays inside of B. Uh, she gets the first kill, no rebuttal. There is a chance there for them to just push in the tunnels, gather the information, leave one player inside the tunnels, the rest of them can rotate in towards, you know, towards the A-bomb side, they can boost themselves up into the side from elevator, and that would have been a much more stiffer resistance uh, being put up there. But instead, they still didn't have too much of information to work with, they played pretty passively, and as you pointed out as well, a couple of questionable decisions being made there by the Enigma Galaxy defenders. This is a bit of a ruse, though. We have Arkinia. He's trying to make a bit of noise to it short, showing a presence. And this is a perfect call for MIB. are heading in towards B. There's only one defender. It is all on Cat to delay what should be the push coming in. Although, that being said, Tori slowly starting to creep her way back towards mid. So the defense can get a little stronger. And what a shot by Arkinia. Good night, Anna. And here comes a push towards B. A beautiful shot though. The defense on this side seems to be perhaps a bit stronger than over towards that A side. But MBR, they have a minute left on the clock and they're gonna go for a run. Look at 23. Oh, this could be disastrous. Oh, she's just holding again in the similar position. And then I'll check again. Oh, they are! What? She misses the shot and little Z just goes flying with that up quick scopes. And here we go, suddenly a two on two. Oh my lord, little Z, she is going nuts. Not expecting Vilga to be there, but still flicks. It's down to Cat, and she will shut it down. Beautiful attempt coming out from little Z for an around which should have been over a long time ago. And they are unable to get their sixth. However, they still have some breathing room to work with in the second half. And speaking of the second half, we're going to go to a very short break to catch our breaths as well. And we'll be back to see if Nigma Galaxy can close it out or can MIBR bounce back into this game. Yeah, okay. Like, it's there.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have landed ourselves in, so far, a very good run for Nick McGalaxy. 10 to 5 currently is the scoreline, but MRBR certainly had a good potential here to still try to steal it away. Yeah, and it came down to the individuals really stepping up. Uh, it, it wasn't, I won't lie, it, it wasn't that clean for MIPR. They had no mid control, they were getting bullied by Tori, especially towards mid so many times. But here we go. It's gonna be a play towards the bomb side here from Nigma Galaxy. All four players charging on him, but Josie's doing a great job keeping them at bay. Smoke's a little late to land, and that means the Enigma Galaxy will be repelled away pretty convincingly here, but the bomb being dropped is a bit of a problem. So now Vilga and her fellow ladies will have to buy a little bit of time. Great work there from the CTs, and you can see the rotation as well. All five CTs now <laughs> grouped up together on that B bomb site. And this is going to require a bit of some miraculous shooting from the likes of Anna, Vilga, and 23 to wrest this one back from MIBR. Well, there is a smoke and a flash in hand of Vilga. That smoke will now be deployed, but 23, her head is taken off as well. So, great start. Akina is just doing a phenomenal job. Yes, that flashback will come through. It's not going to happen. Josie finds the last and clean as you would like to see it. MRBR take it. And this is a round they desperately needed. You know, there's a bit of a gap in between their scoreline and Nigma's. But with this, they could certainly get themselves in the buffer. And no bomb plan as well for Nigma. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be too surprised to see them go for the uh, go for full eco here, or even a force buy. Honestly, they can do whatever they want because they have a little bit of a lead. They're going to be feeling still comfortable. But yeah, just the Glocks abound for the Nigma Galaxy side. Out of like in that in that B take attempt, is the flashes aren't good. You would like to smoke off the entrance of the tunnels and then you know try to obscure the vision of the CT playing mm. all the way to the back of the B plat, and then try to burst on out. So. A couple of small little mistakes being made, and here comes the Glocks dropping on town. It's going to be a bit of a bomb there for a little Z. 3k for her. Having a bit of a, a, bit of a good time, especially against the uh, Unarmored opposition with SMGs. We saw that in the previous half as well, but now the buy is going to be coming on in for Nygma Galaxy. I think with MIVR, what, what I love about this team is like how tenacious they are. They just like so, so stubborn and they always seem to claw their way back into the game time and time again so I don't want to count out the ladies here from Brazil as we have a bit of a bonus round and for Enigma Galaxy AK 47s 23 with the Galil a lot of utility to work with it's just going to be going for a bit of a default approach here to start things mm. off just seeing if perhaps a player from MBR peeks around the corner I think we actually have some presence deep down on mid as well some flashes, and they could make use of that smoke that's still there by the CTs, and Anna actually threw that smoke. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but perhaps Akina's head just peeking right above it as it faded. That's now the opening in favor of Nigma Galaxy, and they're keen to try and set their feet on that A bomb site. They still have a lurker in lower tunnel too. Could perhaps hear the rotation go away, but for now, MRBR just being patient. Oh, and I like this positioning. Little Z, but it's getting checked. 23 grabs a kill there, making sure that this is an even bigger advantage. Josie, all alone. She's been spotted. She's going to get the first, but the trade is instantaneous. And Vilga looking around towards the smoke. There's nothing MIBR can do. That was just a dissection of the defense from Enigma Galaxy. And a one versus three. Hera, who's had a bit of a quiet game thus far, she's not going to attempt it. And if I'm Nick Galaxy, you're not really going to go for the hunt either, right? Your money's not in a very special place either. And you know a buy is going to be coming in for MIBR. They barely, they didn't lose a single player the previous round. And even the pistol was very convincing as well. So round will still go the way of the EU side. Going to get them to 11. I really, I really do hope CS fixes this. This is something I'm not yeah, a fan of. No, right? like I you, have, no. They did it on Inferno. I, mean, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be too surprised if they did it on, on Dust2 as well. Yeah. That's, uh, it's, it's still very cheeky that you are able to save there, but at least they can hold on to all their weapons now. Oh, that was just 
Damn, Anna really just did that through the smoke. I'm not even sure if she could even see ahead. It's just a guess of a position that Emma Bial like to play. Red really, really well. So with that, yes, Emma Bial had two rounds there, but Nikmo bounced right back as soon as they had their full buy. The force coming in as well in Little Z because of the uh, the money accrued and that round number 17 with the MP9 able to purchase the AWP for herself. The lead, not as massive as it, as it was at one point in time. I think it was like uh, nine to three at one point in the mm. first half. So 11-7 is much more closer, especially if MIBR are able to not just win the rounds, but keep pressuring the economy. All that's easy said than done. MP9 for Mass, a couple of M4s and the AWP. They're one of the rare times where you get to see five whole different weapons being wielded by the CTs. And Arcadia comes in running on out. And it's going to be a bit of a cruncher onto its tunnels. Great work from Hera, able to find the double. And that's going to funnel the remaining members of Enigma Galaxy out towards Long real quickly. They want to head towards its site before the backup arrives. But the smoke's keeping them at bay. There's a bit of a crossfire set up. And now the smokes are going to fall. That is making things quite rough for Josie. She could perhaps try and spam through it, but Little Z is also in CT. And now Hera there too, so what is a change of plan? Perhaps a boost. Oh, there's a flashbang there in the well. Josie will boost herself up on top of Little Z, but not a kill found just yet. Now, good thing is Molotovs will delay things. Little Z is therefore able to grab a kill. She is just going to jump up, see if she can make anything work. And Hera finds herself yet again another kill, leaving Vilga justified by herself. Oh. She finds another, almost transfers to the last player there. But man, Emma hold this on. And the retake was nice. They waited out patiently. They tried to boost over that smoke as well. And when it initially didn't work, fell back at the right time. And then when there was no utility left, they striked. That is uh, the sort of play you want to see more coming out from MIBR here, because this is something that Nimba Galaxy kept doing to them time and time again. We saw it primarily happen uh, towards mid. Tori was being a thorn in their side. We saw the uh, lower tunnels push as well coming out. So this is something that it might be us would be looking to recreate here, making Nygma Galaxy feel uncomfortable, not allowing them to go for whatever place they want. It's a bit of damage being dealt towards Tori. It's a force buy, uh, sorry, it's gonna be a light buy coming from Nygma Galaxy here. Just a, a hero AK-47 for 23, scout for Anna, and of course, uh, just the pistols, but all five of them is grouped up together. They got two smokes, four flashes, and a Molotov, and those flashes are gonna be instrumental prevent Little Z from sniping them all down. It's good that they are aware of the back. But how much can Nick McGalaxy do when they are on limited amount of weaponry? I'm not sure if Kisa perhaps heard that drop for a second. She certainly is looking the way now, the flashbang there as well. And the flashes start to rain, they're not going to stop Little Z, though she misses her shot. Now, they need to be right on spot, otherwise, oh, that's a bomb there as well. That's a follow-up kill, and Little Z is fighting here for another round of MRBR. And at the <laughs> same time, while Kiza is coming in, they are sandwiching in Nick Galaxy here completely. Yes, Vilga finds one, but at this point, MRBR is excited and thrilled because that's another round on the board. There's the two great shots coming in, and yeah, the flash is not, not being very effective. They used the most of them early on, but Kizai with a jumping kill, preventing, <laughs> denying the C4 from getting planted, and Vilga only able to find one at the very end there. Great stuff from uh, MIBR, not allowing things to spiral out of control. As of course, we're back to the coach camps, the good variety of coach camps, not the other one. We don't talk about that. Yeah. Just, and this is the thing, because um, all these ladies here, actually this whole weekend long, have been supported 
by a lot of great orcs, which is so much fun to see in comparison. Still in Dallas, we had some that weren't picked up by an orc, but slowly as time progresses, more and more of these teams have uh, have support and backup behind them in also the form of coaches. So yesterday, CLG, they even had like a sports psychologist. And with this, perhaps it could keep MRBR in this game. The fact they didn't get the bomb down, you could see the effect being felt in the slightly sparse utility that McGalaxy possess, right? Even have the Galil for 23. So definitely Kiza with the, with the Kaylee play having impact. Now MRBR going to be going for a bit of a, an excursion towards tunnels and they're going to realize very quickly there's no one there. Going to allow the remaining members to, first they're going to be peeking mid together. You have Little Z waiting. But the longer Enigma Galaxy take, the scarier it gets, because here comes the rotation, the smoke will bloom, and there's going to be five CTs. There's going to be five CTs lying in wait. Kizza just goes for the swing out in the smoke, lines them up, and deals quite a bit of damage. In fact, even finding Cat, but a cross will come on through. 50 seconds, slap Apple time to work with, but they need to go for the play. First kill will go the way onto the bomb site for Vilga, finding Hera, and they're aware where Little Z is with the AWP. She dodges a flash beautifully, gets the kill. Molotov to prevent the bomb from getting planted, but 23 just goes for the swing and gets the kill. Great flashes from the CTs though, but they're not gonna take advantage of it. The smoke eventually will dissipate, and now Tori, she was a monster in the first half. Can she do more though? Flames licking at her feet, forcing it out from a position, and a bomb finally gets planted. Oh, the flash is doing nothing. Not for Tori, at least. She can hold on, and even the second flash, Try and make use of it, at least 23 is now out of the mix. But still, the time is ticking away on that bomb. Tori is holding on, and she grabs three of them there in the end. Nick McGalaxy creeping closer and closer towards the victory and stealing away MRBL's map. Cold as ice, Tori coming up huge there. That was so scrappy. The flash was, again, yeah, you, you pointed out flash didn't affect her at all. It was too high from the CTs. And this was with MIPR having push tunnels, having all the information they needed. They had five players waiting there for Enigma Galaxy, and still Tori just denies everything. It's going to be the eco here. Just a couple of digs being purchased, but a bit of a stack towards long. This can actually work out for them in 23. All oh, the time it could have been atrocious, but Op switch will take place, and Anna blinded will still time it to perfection. A quick round, barely taking any damage. And 13 now for Nygma Galaxy, three away from taking us to map number two. That's nice, you know, you're gonna be playing the long game here eventually. And even if MRBR still creep closer, now with a clean round like that, their money is slowly gonna be building up even more and more. Let's see, because uh, maybe on now do have that full buy back. It's kids are on just the famas, but little Z back in uh, back in line with the orb. Twenty kills already for her. She's eager to lend herself a little more. And there is indeed a player that towards that long position, but just one. We'll go on a mission to look. One thing I gotta say that Little Z has been finding so much impact with the AWP. Era aware, great work. Cat will fall. And now the play is gonna be coming on. You can see a lot of flashes towards lower tunnels here. That's gonna delay Nick McGalaxy, but they're gonna not be respecting it too much. And Anna, there was a opportunity there for her to find Josie, but the smoke blooms with an op shot ringing out. Backup has arrived as well. Now two CTs lie in wait. Really haven't seen Nick McGalaxy attempt this B bomb site that often. So we really don't know what the protocols are going to be. One thing we noticed for MIBR, the smokes were lacking towards doors, but here comes the play from Nygma Galaxy. Flashes are good, but Josie able to still find 23. And remember, there is a crossfire being set up here. Arkinia, he's got back as well. Kizza's going to go for the swing and going to make sure the trade will take place. 13 to 10. Just good trades there overall by MIBR. But a good setup of then uh, Arkinia being uh, really close by. He's uh, right there in the window. And as the flash has popped, the initial one, uh, I think it blinded uh, Kiza. She had to look away, but Akina wasn't blind. And then it was sort of the, like the reverse sweep. When Akina was blind, Kiza could then strike again and help her teammate out. So with that, a good defense set up on that B side. And MIBR now on double digits. Little 
Lindsay. Dodging the flash very comfortably. So early kills going their way. And you got to look at the money as well for Nigma Galaxy. This buy doesn't work out for them. They're not going to have much to work with come the next round. And that's MIPR's opportunity to get to 12. But here comes the smokes. You can see a couple of smokes being lobbed in towards the entrance of tunnels. And it's all a ruse, however. Now the two players admit one at the back of the B bomb site, and again it's going to come down to little, little Z to hold the line. Earlier the flashes weren't that effective, and even now they have three flashbangs. And if they don't blind, blind Little Z, the shots she's been hitting thus far, it's going to be a wall they have to walk through. Oh, they're trying to use that smoke to be able to cross, but there's a tiny, tiny gap. They're going to slow pick it to it. But even so, 23 swings and catches her head. So that's the opening. Josie is also tied up pretty heavily. So with that, the bomb can get planted and the money is looking dire for MRBR2. Actually, both sides, it was a crucial round for both teams. Of course, there are still chances. It's a four on four. But they need to get some kills real fast if they want to hold on to this. This is a game of disinformation being played here by uh, Arcania. They're going to be expecting the player to be coming out late from short. The mate will sail on in. The retake is on. They have no flashes remaining, though, but a great shot from Arcania. But Kat and Vilga trying to prevent this retake from taking place. They're running out of time. They're running out of players. It's all in Hera in a one versus one. And she just bought enough time. There's nothing she can do. And everyone on the side of MIBR will fall. Anna even able to escape with the AWP in hand. And that was such an important round for MIBR, but unfortunately it slips out of their fingers. 14 to 10 now. Nigma Galaxy, two away. Oh, yeah, that, that gap you were thinking that perhaps it could be an advantage there for the CTs, but it quite wasn't the case. Not if you have that firepower that Nigma Galaxy has in their favor. Now MIBR is not going to be stopping, forcing up into this round because he don't want OT, they want a victory. So buying up. Oh, well. 23! What are these entries she's finding? And this is the thing. Firepower, the clean the, the, the very much the clean and sterile way that sometimes Nick Galaxy just grab up these kills. But at the same time, Dory does uh, Tori does fall. And there's another weapon in the hands of MRBR. And an AK onto Little Z could become scary. They have handed that AK-47 over, right? Tori falling. And there is that AK inside of CT spawn. Arcania all just trying to go for a bit of a jiggle peek, but the timing was unfortunate. Hera has to do everything, but every angle is being watched, and they know where Josie likes to play. They know they've taken down the eight defenders. They know they've taken down that hole to its mid, and they're going to just completely avoid that MP9. And even if she took the fight, I really have to favor the side of Nigma Galaxy in that instance. A 1v4, nothing she can do. And that was a high risk play, the high risk buy coming out from MIBR. And fortunately, it does not pan out for them. 15 to 10 will be the score. And it's going to be five map points for Vilga and her ladies. Uh, Josie can perhaps hold on to the MP9. She doesn't get hunted, has it? but it looks like the cat is eager to see and take a look. Josie certainly hears it though, is <laughs> very much aware. Someone perhaps is going to come through the doors, but it looks a bit she can hold on to that MP9, but an MP9 against the full force of Nickma Galaxy. It's not going to be very ideal, at least it might be a little bit more than just some pistols. But, oh, this kill again. 23. She grabs time and time again. So many kill free for herself that round. And as you said, Nick McGalaxy now on map point. 15-10. And MRBR needs to do it with, again, a force by some pistols. A scout in the hands of Josie. And that MP9 in the hands of Little T. She grabs one, but look at that. Cat just strikes. On one HP as well. She should have been dead to rights. I thought a trade would actually favor MIBR, but Cat. She's got nine lives for sure. 
She will manage to stay alive, but this push now, Memabia, they know they need to do something. They know they need to go for a play, and instead they're going to be walking straight into Tori's AK-47. And now Josie left against the world. And unfortunately for Josie, Dino Puss gets around to help her out. She just has to handle this one all by lonesome. She's hoping for something to be found, and she's been spotted. And it's Anna she has to take the duel against with the AWP. And this looks like the beginning of the end here for MIBR. The crossover will take place as well. Bomb should be eventually planted. Nice shot from Josie to at least bring it down to a 1v3. But you can see the hunt coming in. Cat is waiting for her to a short. Yeah, this is doesn't look very possible for MIBR. A bit of a missed shot. And Josie, oh, the Molotov, yeah, she can't push through that. She is tagged up, and with that, Anna jumps into CT, grabs the last kill. 16-10, ladies and gents, and Nick Galaxy steal away the map pick of MIBR. That was just, uh, just they were just better. <laughs> There's a lack of a better, better phrasing there. I, I think it came down to the first half. I feel mm. like MIBR, especially when it's your map pick, which is Dust2 on the T side. I feel like there were uh, a few issues there. Whenever they wanted to go for the, whenever they wanted to go to B bomb side, for example, we saw the lack of smokes to his double door.